Hello everyone, Rob Salina, Daryl Hilbert with the uh, Fur Getters. So we came out here today, we're northeastern Wyoming once again, where we normally are. And uh, we went way north this time, we didn't see anything today. When we first stopped, we got, we heard a couple of groups howling, and we did not, did not pick up any today. But last time we were out, we were down south of where we live and had, had some luck down there. Uh, Daryl was calling. Um, I think he was using some sort of a bird call. We kind of, it was funny because we went through a bunch of cows and there was a herd of cows there and we we weren't more than a quarter mile or something away from those cows. I'm not I don't think it wasn't very far. I don't think so, no. And we kind of set up on a little on a little draw and he was using some sort of a bird call and we it was only about six minutes in and here come this coyote right through the same area where we drove through. He almost followed our tracks. He ran right through that bunch of cows and came down through the draw and picked him up. He was pretty close. Yeah. Uh, like 20 yards, something like that. I'm not sure how, I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't remember how close, but he was pretty close. Self-defense. And, yeah, <laughs> and we dropped that one, but we didn't get any good video, so we thought we'd talk about that a little bit. Yeah, we've got some pictures. We'll show the pictures. Yeah, we'll throw the pictures in here. You know, what I thought was interesting about that, Rob, is... We, I, I've known that coyotes have hung out on the one knob, but they're so hard to get to because it's so open all the way around. I've tried, been frustrated. So we kind of went over there and then we thought, ah, we'll just let it go and we'll kind of, we'll move like a quarter mile to half a mile away. And here we called one from that very knob. So I have to put that in my, uh, in my journal knowledge. <laughs> so a great hunt, great shot. And I'm glad that, uh, we got some pictures of you and that dog, and yeah. yeah. Wasn't a great shot. I just about could have thrown my rifle at him and knocked him out, but it was, it was a fun day and a successful hunt. A uh, lot, lot better than we did today. Uh, we were out today and weren't successful, but we thought we'd uh, post a couple of pictures of uh, us shooting some coyotes before. Uh, I will say one of the problem is, is that we're all hunters and we don't like, to, none of us like to trade the gun for the camera so we'll we'll try it this way until we can hire a professional camera uh but this hunt uh, that we'll show the picture of um you remember uh that one area by that oil pumper that i said this is just uh yeah. a, they keep coming and a year after year many places they don't but they do and a, most of them are kamikazes that you don't even get a shot well, you and I had hunted there, and of course that day nothing came in. I went back about uh, three weeks later, and uh, sure enough, I got one uh, that he didn't do a kamikaze, but he, he was above me, uh, kind of on some rocks and just standing there, and the wind was going right at him, and it's like, I gotta move, I gotta shoot, and he stood still, and that was his mistake. So uh, that was a successful hunt. Well, we'll just keep trying, and we are the fur getters, and we, uh, I'm seeing a pattern here that when whenever I'm along, we make these videos of we didn't get anything today. So I'm seeing a pattern here. I'm not sure. Maybe we shouldn't split up and uh, see who the problem is, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's me. No. Well, that's why I was so glad that on that uh, other hunt you talked about before, you uh, you blasted that coyote. Yeah, I actually so that, got to shoot one. So that was good. Yeah, I was starting to feel a little guilty about that. So, well, that's... Uh, Daryl and Rob for the fur getters and uh, we'll uh, hopefully give you some more video. Sounds good.